I scared you, right? I scared you. I know I scared you. Totally scared you. Ah! How about that scare, huh? Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. Today what I have for you guys is another movie review. This is a bit of an older film, but it's pretty good. Um, recently, if, um... I found... Basic, I don't know how to word it. I found an old Disney movie collection thing of, like, movies based from rides. And, um... Bunch of them are going to be showing up. I'm going to be doing a review of all four. They're old films, but, you know, I think they're worth it because if you're a Disney fan like me, um, they're worth it. Basically, uh, if you know me, any of my friends know me, which they should, I'm a massive Disney fan. I go, me and my family go basically every year for about three weeks, and uh, hopefully we'll do that again uh, the next year. But yeah, I just love Disney. It's awesome. Freaking amazing. And, uh, you can already see I have my Muppet tribute on and my Disney tribute on, so, yeah, Disney's one of my, uh, one of my favorite franchises things. Um, so I'm like, hey, I love the rides, like Haunted Mansion, I love the Haunted Mansion. So I thought, hey, let's watch the Haunted Mansion movie with Eddie Murphy in it and all that. Now, I saw this movie a while ago when I was a kid, um, uh, maybe like nine or eight or something, over at my grandma's house. And I remember going, yeah, yeah, it's alright, you know, it's a little scary, because it was nine. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a movie, whatever, you know, I didn't know anything. Now, of course, now that I'm into movies and I watch them for fun and to critique them for YouTube, um, I was like, hey, let's rewatch Haunted Mansion. So I did last night, and uh, it was surprisingly really good. Um, definitely not A-worthy, however. They're, they, um, well, first let's just start with the good. All right, so we got Eddie Murphy, and a lot of people said he's unfunny in this movie. I don't really think Eddie Murphy's the funniest guy in the world. I mean, he's donkey, so making some waffles. Um, but yeah, he was... He was good in this movie. I thought he was pretty cool. His co uh, comedic timing was pretty good, and uh, he was he was fine. You know, he was fine. Um, all the other actors and actresses were fine, except the wife. She was a little... She didn't really give it her all. She was kind of bad. Um, she was probably the worst actor in the whole shebang here. Um, we also have the guy... I can't. I don't know his name, but he was in this movie, and he goes, Inconceivable! That guy from uh, Princess Bride. And he was the... Oh, he was the principal in The Incredibles. Pretty sure. Um, he's in this movie, and uh, just, you know, a bunch of cool actors and actresses, stuff like that. Um, the plot, now again, this is based on the Haunted Mansion ride. So kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, people were like, oh, how are you going to make a movie out of a, you know, ride to Disney? Well, how are you going to make a movie um, about a ride about the Haunted Mansion, right? But surprisingly, they did a really good job with it. Um, I don't remember some of it. And it's about this, like, this dude who dies... And he, he loves this girl who looks exactly like um, Eddie Murphy's wife, the Evers and Evers. And uh, it's it's just, it's it's a little weird at first because you're like, oh, that's a coincidence. But it fits because, you know, you can't just have a, an hour and a half long movie about a ride, you know. So it was a really good plot, actually. I think that was the strongest point in this movie was the plot. Um, it got all the cool little Easter eggs for the Haunted Mansion ride lovers for Disneyland and Disney World. Very cool. I found myself chuckling a lot throughout the movie because of those. However, this movie can kind of lead on being like an advertisement for Disney. Just like, hey, Haunted Mansion, watch the movie. But when you actually watch it, it really isn't. Kind of like the original Lego movie, right? And Batman and Ninjago. Those are like, to skeptics, those are like, oh, that's just a brand thing. But when you watch them, they're amazing. Same with this. This isn't amazing, but it's, it's a good movie. And it's not just like a shoving Disney down your throat. But I did enjoy the callbacks. It was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the plot was cool, the callbacks were cool, the acting was cool, except for the wife. Um, it was pretty funny at times, the Madame Leota, the ball, uh, she was pretty funny, she was kind of like the comic relief. Um, and of course, the scare factor. I don't know if I would call this a horror movie, Bec I don't know. Tell me in the comments, would this be a horror movie? I don't know. I think it would, I don't know. It's rated PG, so it's for, you know, 10 and up. Um, it, it, I mean, it's not scary, I'm 20. But, I mean, it, it was a little bit, like, freaky, I guess. I think the best part of this movie, like, where it really gets, like, pumping the action going and your adrenaline is where uh, the Evers and uh, his son and daughter go into the crypt. Or, no, I'm sorry, just his son. Uh, God damn it. His daughter. <laughs> the son stays outside. Um, they go into, like, this crypt area where basically, like, they have to find a key, right? But it's in a tomb. So they open the tomb... And they're, you know, they just take it and they're like, oh, that was easy, what the heck? And uh, the skeleton rises up and they're like, oh, shoot. So they have to fight the skeleton while the, the daughter goes in, while Megan goes under the water. 
and uh, it was just a really tense sequence with the with the um, skeletons chasing them. Pretty good special effects too, um, especially with those skeletons. Good visual effects and all that. A um, lot of tense moments in that scene. Uh, let's see the CGI. That's one of the weaknesses. The CGI. It, I think this made movie. I think this movie, excuse me, was made in 2007, I believe. So it doesn't look amazing, but it isn't bad either. So you know, there's a scene where they go to a graveyard, and it's you can clearly tell it's bad CGI. I mean, it's the crappy CGI, and it's bad because Disney has such a reputation for itself, and you think they get a little bit better. And again, this is an older film, so I can't be too harsh on it, but for what it's worth, it probably looked okay during that time, but now in 2018, close to 2019, it doesn't look that good. There's a few scenes with, which do, especially toward the end when everyone actually so, shows their ghosts, and like you see like the blue uh, filter effect and all that. That was really cool. The skeletons were nice. But there's a few scenes in the beginning and middle which didn't look too good. When Eddie Murphy's character is spinning around the room with Madame Leota, uh, Leota and all the instruments are playing around, which is another amazing callback to the ride. Um, that didn't look too bad, but it didn't look too good. So CGI is a little bit of a weakness. And then, of course, um, the acting. And it's just, I don't know, you're watching it and it's funny and it's action-packed and it's well-directed. But some of the acting, some of the CGI doesn't really hit. Um, so I wouldn't, I would probably go as far to say I'd give this movie a B plus. Um, this is definitely a good movie. Um, if you think it's bad and you've seen bad reviews, don't trust them. Trust yourself. Uh, I mean, don't even trust me. Watch me, but don't really trust me. You know, go off of what I say and go, hey, he liked it. I'll give it a shot. Um, so yeah, I liked it. B plus. Um, sadly, it didn't really get its own franchise. I couldn't really see that happening anyway, but it was a good standalone movie for the Haunted Mansion. And, um, you know, so next I'll be watching Tower of Terror. So hopefully that'll be uh, pretty cool. I didn't check the ratings. I don't, you know, I don't really care about that. So uh, leave a comment down below if you guys saw the Haunted Mansion, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you wanted there to be more, um, and then also tell me if you like Disneyland or Disney World better for the Haunted Mansion. I have actually never been to Disneyland. I've always been to Disney World. That's my go-to place. So you're gonna have to tell me if Disneyland's any worth going to, um, especially for the Haunted Mansion ride, because it's a good ride and a good movie. So thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome content, and we'll see you guys in the next video.